Hey everyone, how's it going? PB here. We're getting back to our Let's Play of Final Fantasy 16. And so, I uh, completed some more quests, did some more hunts, got some more uh, reputation type stuff, rewards from Desiree. And we are now going to finally make our own way off to see Mid at the Ironworks. And so, yeah. I'm not sure if we're going to be rescuing Jill or not, but we're gonna try to get this this ship working right here. Okay. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. I wonder how fast this sucker can fly. Or sail. I'm wanting it to fly. But it's probably just gonna sail. Sail! I was right, Clive. My dad had it all worked out. He'd be proud of you, Mid. His writings may have helped, but this achievement is all yours. <laughs> Can we catch them? The Ine is one of the largest, fastest vessels ever built. And it won't help she has the wind at her back. Any other ship would be hard pressed to keep pace with her, let alone reel her in. But this isn't any other ship. This is the Enterprise! And the world's never seen anything like my dad's engine. It certainly hasn't. Clive, what do you know of Barnabas Tharm? Only what the bards sing. And he sailed to Ash from southern lands. But it was his mastery of the blade which won him the throne. And that his sword, Odin's sword, can sever the very threads of creation. But don't lose any sleep over a last tilt. We'll do what we must to survive. What we must. The light! I thought this cool was meant to be hidden! Mid! Hmm. Company! Eh? We'll hold them off until <clears throat> the ship is ready! But hurry! Bullocks! All hands! Man your stations! Mm. Everyone with me? The boys are back in town. I guess they didn't have a way of barricading it. Hmm. This is it? Yeah. <laughs> 
Come on. Uh, we're just I uh, just not produced today. Not today, sir. Is this where my uncle dies? Everyone's like, yay, that's it. Then all of a sudden, just a random spear comes piercing through your enough. uncle. The creation of Odin. Hmm. Phoenix's fiery fundament. Have you no normal enemies? Hmm. Up for another round? Of course we are. Right, Lord Rosfield? My boy, there was a time people called me. The executioner. Or was it my ass? No matter, heads will roll all the same. Mate, new plan! You leave, we follow! Follow? Swimming, are you? Oh, bugger me! Lay anchor! Engine dead slow ahead! Care, my friends, it is not blood that runs mm. through in Eddie's veins. These foes will not fall easily, but they looks will like... fall like oaks before a woodman's oh. axe. I just got a not good hit. Just not got a good hit. We to keep this up. As long as it takes, unless you have a better idea. Don't get hit. Well, I've already killed at least five of the bastards. Let's do the lot. Once, ah, here we go. Here you go, guys. Go. Come here. <clears throat> I 
guys. Raptor it! Uh, shouldn't they drag his ass aboard before firing full speed ahead? <sighs> ah, the Naldian arrow. The Einherja. Oh, I just got done playing the uh, Valkyrie profile. Uh, Ein Harriars, I guess, is the uh, Valkyric, like, soldiers who died in battle who are now um, the aid of the Valkyrie. What do you want? Or Odin's, like, uh, de uh, undead warriors. I'm not sure what the true definition that's is, but that's where I've last heard it. Made. And wholly unnecessary. You are my offering <clears throat> to Muthos. I would not see you damaged. Muthos, Muthos. Okay. The free cities of Canva. The Enterprise. Now back to your stations. Every bell spent treading water puts another league between us and the galleon. It's about to say engage. I don't suppose Mid has a spare engine. <laughs> Since you rose from the grave, my fortunes have plummeted. Are you absolutely certain of this quest of yours, Clive? The foes you face are as terrible as they are numerous. Aye, and they'd have us live and die on their terms, which should answer your question. Ah. <clears throat> you have that same stubborn look as your father did when he set his mind to something. On the battlefield, I am but a single axe. A deadly one, mind, but a single one nonetheless. Yet what you require is a thousand, and I believe my old friend in Brandonar can provide them. Take care, Clive. I have many more tales of your father's exploits to share. And I cannot very well do that if you're dead. Again. Hmm. Good luck, Uncle. And may fair winds attend you. As for you, Joshua, take care. I shall do my best, Uncle. Farewell, my nephews. When next you see me, it shall be with an army at my back. Keep up, my boy. 
Well, we can't have him showing us up now, can we? We would never hear the end of it. Twinside, the Holy Empire of Sambrek. Ah, Dion. Bahamut. Of mercy. I just thought I saw some in the background behind that building. Like a shadow of some sort. Probably just something in the wind. What have I done? I know there are people there. My lord. Yeah, that was all you, dude. That was all you. Well, I guess Ultima kind of helped that. He just made you go freaking crazy. Um, I'm not there. I'm here. All right, there's nothing else I can do. So let's go ahead and continue to the Naldius. Or I was gonna say Sparrow, but the Narrow, the Naldia Narrow. Ah, the Enterprise. Between here and Walud. But any ship heading north has to round Zemeckis and put through the narrow. Maintain our current bearing north northeast, and we'll catch the Black Galleon before she vanishes again. What's to prevent her from circling around Ash from the south? With these winds in those waters, it'd take him forever and a fortnight to reach Stone here. Mid knows what she's talking about, Clive. Better than any of us, lot, anyway. I say we do as she tells. Sails on the horizon. She's ours. Mm, become pirates, huh? Look alive, boys! Full ahead! And keep those furnaces fed! Aye, aye. aye! Do you feel that, Jill? All hands! Battle stations! Let's see what this girl can do. Ooh, let's see. Alright, then. I'm Harry R. There's Odin. Is he gonna. Where one leads, so does the other follow. A bond of consciousness which joins them, condemning both to the same fate. Yet my every attempt to strike it from their hearts serves only to tighten its hold. Fascinating. Oh, is he gonna do the slash? But then, there is naught my blade cannot sever. Well, this sucks. Oh, 
least take him to the skies. It's gonna be like the battle. Oh, they don't even know where Jill is. They could have just rammed into the where Jill's thing was. It's now or never. I'll find her. Is Joshua coming? Doesn't look like it. Ooh. Looks like Joshua's gonna be busy. Gonna kidnap him? All right, through the maelstrom. Okay. Where do you hide, Abominus? Cut it down. All right, I'm just looking for loot boxes. Torgal, you go search. I'm gonna, you go, you know, not search. You go attack. Nice dodge. No lock boxes over here. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm not putting up with you guys. Nope, not gonna put up. With you. No, I definitely don't want to put up with y'all. Uh oh, is there like a door I'm gonna have to go through? That one right there, more than likely. Yep. Uh, okay. Can I jump overboard? Nope. All right, come on, guys. Is there's more guys over there. Hey, Torgal, bring them over here. Bring him over here. Come on. Alright, first things first, we're gonna set you all ablaze. And let's go ahead and get some wind. Come on. Oh, I guess while that's going, I can just prime this up. While they're, uh, that'll be a strat. Just while they're just, oh, that fills up quick whenever I'm not moving. Hey, you. He disappear. Damn you. Okay. Come on, bow to your king. Nope. Come on, lie down. Man, 
and there we go. This will be it. Alright, let's go on in. Do I get a lantern or something? It's pretty dark. Hey guys, what's up? Don't worry, I won't. Can I talk to you? Nope. Okay. Drop the fight Ah, meteorite. Nothing down here? Okay. I'm trying. going on the Enterprise. Steer. Cold wind blow. All right. Come on, guys. Come on over here. I want to get everybody in the same spot. Okay, so when I move, it definitely goes slower. So tornado into that. Oh, jeez. I thought it was just walking regularly. Can I go up here? 
Nope. Okay. So we're gonna be going down again? Is this where I came from? I don't think so. No, it's not. Alright, let's go down. Anything over here? Doesn't look like yet. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get in a battle here soon. Taking on water, you know that, right? Jill. All right. You came. Get back. Uh. Clive, how did you? I'll explain later. Pat. <laughs> can you walk? Out of here, I can. Hmm, <laughs> they're still taking on fire. Phoenix. Are you not the dominant of fire? I see naught before me but a guttering flame. That's some crazy. Wow. See so fall impacted of the land beneath and then drowned by the crushing waves. Why isn't it falling in? Is it because of Leviathan? Can you go on? I think so. that happening but to where the walls closing in caving in Joshua Barnabas Joshua. The Phoenix? Oh, I expect he will survive. The 
this consciousness in which you coil your feeble souls is grown thick with desperation. And thus has my master turned to my blade. The world will soon be painted in black. And all that live shall gather in death's autumn wake. Not if we remove the cause of this misery. Not if we destroy the last of the Mother Crystals and restore balance to the world. Come, do you truly think it's so simple? The blight is in black. Not even the Almighty might stop its endless march. Your efforts will avail us naught. Naught, that is, but suffering. You must embrace the truth, Mythos. Accept your place with the Lord. Keep it. As long as there's a chance, there's a choice. Ever led astray by your blind resolve. Now, it is time you learn the inevitability of your divine fate. However much it may hurt. Get as far away as you can. Clive, no. Trust me, Jill. Mm. Holy hell. We don't have to do this. Oh, but we do. If only to remind you of your duty. Dang it. Yeah. Rise, Mythos. In a short time since our last meeting, you have grown much. Yet as a vessel, I fear my lord will still find you lacking. Damn it. 
This ain't good. And thus is the light of hope severed. Guess that was planned. You would yield so soon. Never. Clive. Yeah, I was about to say, there's no way to knock that down with him jumping around like that. Do you not see? Your iron will weighs you down, dragging you ever further from your purpose. And what is my purpose? Mythos. Who are we? What are the dominants? The breath of the Creator still warm on our lips. We carry his light that we might guide the masses in his name. We are but mighty acts of God. We are more than that! You would be nothing without what he has granted you. The power we wield is his, and yet every time we draw upon it, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us, it unmakes us, that its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The Icon. It is too much for even his chosen few. Apart from you, Mythos. You wield the might of many, yet your body does not answer for its avarice. What are you saying? What I am saying... ...is that we dominance are a means to an end. We were created for you. That you might drink deep of our strength, and thereby fulfill your divine purpose. Which is... ...to feed. As you would know, could you only look beyond the walls of your prison of self-regard. As long as you choose to ignore this, you shall never penetrate my defenses. Still, you may take solace in the fact that you are not alone in your plight. The chains of volition shackle all of mankind, but there is yet cause to rejoice. For the Lord, in his mercy, has taken pity on his flawed creations, and shall see them restored to their proper forms. And what exactly would that be? Why, loyal servants to God. No. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men, like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. You mean to turn everyone Akashic? Not turn, Mythos. Turn back. For too long has mankind been led astray by their clamorous wills. It is time they return to a world of quiet equality, where they might once more know salvation. Salvation? And abandon everything we hold dear? We don't need your... Salvation. We'll save ourselves, and we'll do it on our own terms. Not yours, and not your gods. With every defiant expression of your will, the tighter the chains of consciousness become. But perhaps that fact may be put to use. Mm, the faster the it binds you to the remaining dominance, the stronger your hunger will become. Until it leads you back to the only answer there ever was. Mayhap not by the path my master intended, 
but back all the same. Ash is not far. I could freeze a path. You're in no fit state. Probably not, but I can try. <sighs> Is that an unwinnable fight? I guess if you power level enough, you can possibly win that. I'll increase impulse damage up, okay. The Shadow Coast, Western Ash. The others are safe. The Enterprise was clear of the gap when we fell. They made it, Jill. And they would have seen the ice. Where it led. Well, hey now. We need only wait till dawn. This is the second time Barnabas has bested me. I'm powerless against him. Maybe there really is nothing else for it but to give yourself to his master. Only you won't do that. The Clive I know would never do that. Is that Red Star? So you believe. But do you really know me? If what Barnabas said was true, then... To the man. And each time I summon the flames from within, I burn away the things that make me who I am. Do you, though? Think of what you've used that power for, of all the people you've saved. It doesn't matter how or by whom it was granted, only how you choose to use it. And you've chosen to use it for good, haven't you? I've also used it to kill. What if that's my purpose? What if it's all I'm good for? Still that same boy I grew up with. Always so eager to save everyone around you, and yet always so low. Because you failed to realize the one thing that needed saving most of all. You, Clive. You. You never once took the time to save yourself. Myself? I think I might be beyond saving. No one is beyond saving. Provided they want to be saved. You fight to survive. And you survive so that you may protect those you love. It's what you do. What you've always done. And I know you're not about to change. So I'm going to help you. To give you what you need to protect us all. Just gonna give him Shiva's power? Jill, are you sure? 
Shu. If... If this is what you want, then... Don't worry, Clive. It is. give you the strength to bear it alone. But I'm not alone. These burdens I carry, my sins, my pain, my sorrow, I see now that they are all a part of me. So there's seven icons. I'm just wondering if there's like a the seven sins to correlate with that. What is it? Um, I'm just doing it by seven. There's gluttony, greed, pride, lust, wrath, envy. Yeah, some ingrown hairs. This fate. Find a way to save each other. That we might one day look upon the moon again together. And I promise you, Clive, that I will be there, no matter what you must become. I know. I never thought a smile could bring me so much joy. There's that red star again. What is it? Hmm. The Enterprise. So what's going on with Jill now? He took her powers. There she is. I mean, she can still turn into Shiva. But I'm not sure if she goes batshit crazy if she does. Seems like everyone else who had their powers absorbed. The only way that they were able to use their dominant... Was, or their icon is when they became batshit crazy. Hmm. What of Barnabas? Do we pursue him? The Mother Crystal? No. Our paths will cross again soon enough. Whether we like it or not. Besides, there is something we must do first. Of course. 
Drake's spine. The last mother crystal. The Einherja is at the bottom of the sea. Walud won't dare move on storm without her. But they know we're coming now. We'll need a plan. And a damn good one at that. Then let's go home and find one. Ash will have to wait. Hmm. Now is this where... I get to finish up my... Ow! My hunts. Or after I do the Mother Crystal, is there like another half of the game that opens up? Holy hell. So that's Ash, and it's gonna have us do all of this. Okay. So yeah, it looks like we're getting close, unless... I mean, this is all blocked off right here. So, I'm thinking there's something special right here. Because there's a coastline, too. Let's see what's at the hideaway. Hmm. Mid says Odin split the sea in two. She's always been partial to a tall tale. But there's tall, and then there's tall. I struggle to believe it myself. I see your uncle isn't with you. He stayed with the Enterprise. After our brush with the Einherja, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows a shipwright in Randalar. We're to join him there when we're ready to sail for Ash. You sure that's wise? Last I heard, the place was still overrun with a Kashyyyk. Show me a city where that isn't true. Ultima's plague is spreading. We're running out of time, aren't we? We've done our best to shore up that hideaway. But I doubt a few planks will stop what's coming. Still, we'll keep at it. Every little helps, I suppose. Let's hope so. All right, across the narrow. Ooh, the power of ice, Clive. Blah. Clive has claimed a portion of the icon Shiva's essence. Attuning with Shiva not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spell, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities, such as Ice Age, which forcefully knocks back enemies great distances. Okay. Ability details are found in the abilities tab. Shiva's feet. Shiva Iconic the Cold Snap can be used to swiftly move left and right, forward or back to either dodge attacks or close in on an enemy. Okay. I should visit Joshua. Assuming Talia will allow it. Hmm. Looks like there are quests everywhere. No new hunts. Oh. Someone's got something for me. Where? That looks like. Is that my office? No. Where is that? Oh shit, there's one right next to me. What the hell? Oh, Blackbeard again or whatever, or Blackthorn. Heard the bad news then, did you? What bad news? About Dravosht. Blackthorn's old horn. With the forge and all that. Well, anyway, the mines just down the road from there are spewing out ether like no one's business. And the village? Safe from the flood for now, but they've got other hmm. problems. A caching. Every creature in the area is either turned or on the way to turning, apparently. Zoltan and the others are living on borrowed time. They need help, and quick. Dorish sent a few curse breakers to keep an eye on things, but there's only so much a couple of scouts can do. Except get eaten. If something ain't done soon, the old place will be overrun. Yep, we gotta help him out. I let that happen. Didn't think you would. Does Blackthorn know? I thought it might be better if he didn't. He'd only do something stupid. You reckon we should tell him? No. It's better this way. Yeah, well, I can't stand about knowing what's happening out there, so I'm off. I'll see you in Dravosht. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. 
That's gonna get me something good. And then. Split the sea? Is that something else from the orchard? think so yep maybe something else to do with my potions Miss, can we read this out of the story can the lost it can't be true all righty what what the hell how do I get down there what It's in the eight. Okay. It's in the office. I was wondering. I was like, wait, if that's that thing, why is this still showing over here? But I thought, oh, uh, you know, ah, uh, well, whatever I thought was wrong. Alright, let's go down into the shop. How was she? What do we got now? Ah, Sid. <laughs> Just the man I was hoping to see. D -d -d Did you have a mo? Don't tell me. You need more bomb ash. Oh no. We still got plenty of that left. I'm working on bringing another one of the chief's designs to life. This time, it's a new smelter. It's got a reverberatory hood over the top for additional thermo amplification and a system of reciprocal recirculatory regenerators that that um. Let's just say it gets very blimmin' hot. A heck of a lot hotter than anything Blackthorn's got in his forge, that's for certain. Only Mithril engines get hotter, and you can't chuck ore in one of them and get met like the other end. <laughs> Trouble is, we won't be able to make out of any old rubbish, neither. We need the good stuff. And I hear you once helped Helena get her hands on exactly that. Any chance you could help me too? Sure, what if you need. The, of the hideaway, I'd be happy to. Oh, it is. I promise you. So, what exactly is this good stuff you need me to find? We've got a couple of examples here. Spherical echoes, we call them. More fallen materials. So this smelter is similar to the Mithril engine in more ways than one. That's right. They're a bit like the thermal helms. Fallen ceramics deal with heat like nothing else, see? And what's more, they're directional, transferring heat from the inside to the outside. But these things, they're all outside. If we line the hub with them, they'll reflect the heat right back into the furnace. We've collected as many as we can, and I know where we can get the rest. They're all watched over by their bigger, uglier cousins. So you want me to visit some ruins, destroy some echoes, and bring back the spheres they're guarding? That's it in a nutshell, yeah. We're only three short, mind. And we know exactly where they are. There's one up Amber Way, in that ruin that they call Lost Plume, and another in the Silent South, over in Dalmechia. Last one is in the ruins of Advent, which is in the Empire. All right, then. Wish me luck. It'll do. I'll be keeping all my fingers and toes crossed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, dude, whoa. With Canva in the hands of Akashic. I hear yous. What do we got now? In my office, and then he's got something new. Okay. I mean, I want to. I mean, screw it. How are you feeling, Joshua? Uh, better than I was. But not nearly as well as you should be. Your cuts and burns may have healed, but your body still bears the burden of every spell cast. And what would you have had me do? It was no ordinary foe we faced. It was the Warden of Darkness. 
Yet still, it was not enough. The king could have ended me at any moment, but instead chose to toy with me like a curl does a mouse. Yeah. You underestimate yourself. Oh, it was crystal clear. Only one man established his dominance that day, and that man was Barnabas. I'm sorry, brother. That was ill-spoken. It's just... I have never felt so powerless, and when so many are looking to us for strength, perhaps... Uh, perhaps the prince feels the same. Hmm, the crystalline dominion. Nameless slum. this place <gasps> don't move It's fresh from the well. Grandmother told me spirits sometimes get lost, and that the lanterns guide them to their proper place. I set one on the river for her when she passed away. Was it you who guided my hand then, Ultima? No, not you. This is my doing, my fault, my sin to bear. And for it, I must atone. Your hurts are healing nicely. It was my poultices that saw you well. You make them. And sell them, or try to. Earns me enough for bread, most days. Forgive me, I have nothing to. I know, but I couldn't just leave you lying there. <sighs> You're going then. Of course. I'm healed. Thanks to you and your poultices. Will you promise to come back and visit? Hmm, the wings. 
Phoenix. It would seem that I owe you my wings. Hmm. Perhaps he can find an answer. You will be returning to Walud soon, I gather. I see no reason to wait. Then neither do I. I can think of a few, but I doubt they'll stop you. You will take your medicine. Of course, Lady Tyre. Set on leaving already, are ya? How long will it take us to get back to Ash? Dunno, about the same amount of time it took us to get here. Maybe less, if your uncle can find someone trustworthy to patch up the Enterprise. All depends on where we're putting into port, mind. Yes. It's not as if we can put ashore wherever we choose. We have to assume that the whole of Ash is hostile. And that we'll be attacked on sight. Then we must find a place they won't think to look. And I have an idea who might know of one. The Professor! I'll go and tell you come in! While you're plotting our course, I'll be in the shelves with your lawsmen. I wish to pick his brains about Ultima. Then I'll talk to Karen about supplies for the journey. They may not be easy to come by in Ash. Well, it looks like everybody has a job. Your brother's body won't take much more of this recklessness. You know that, don't you? I do. Alright. I gotta speak with Vivian now. Okay. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Okay. Nothing over here either. Let me go to that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I still I'll just talk to her. Fine. Say it all you like. Ah, Clive. I was wondering when you'd arrive. Please tell me you've come to take our young prodigy here off my hands. I'm not here for mid. I need information on Ash. Then why not ask Molly if you can look in one of her ovens? <sighs> Go on. As soon as the Enterprise is ready, we'll be setting out for Drake's spine. And we're going to need a safe place to land. Preferably one that won't seem a ship blown to shit and splinters. If it were that easy, do you think Walud would have resisted invasion for so long? Very little is known of Ash. And the information we do have is spotty and outdated. We have the good King Barnabas to thank for that. Walud's borders have been closed to outsiders since the day he seized the throne. If there is anywhere safe to land, you won't find it on my map. Then tell us what we will find. I'm sure you know better than we do. But no splinters! All right, all right. If it will get you out of my hair. But interrupt me, and it's over. Understood? Barnabas Tharm. The one they call the Last King. Understand him, and you will understand the Kingdom of Walud. Barnabas was only a boy when he arrived from beyond the Southern Seas and barely a man before he united the ragged tribes of Ash. And having unleashed them upon the formidable Veldemark, he set his throne upon the ancient kingdom's ruins. The victory sent shockwaves around Valisthea, tales of Odin's might spreading through every court, parlor, and drinking hall in the realm. Note that this was in the year 843. And that the king still sits upon his throne some 40 years later, quite untouched by time. Walud's recent inaction left many wondering if Odin had lost his appetite for war. And yet here we are. The Einherjar was committed to the fray, a bold declaration of intent. Orcs swarm around Drake's Fang, and throngs of Akashic haunt canvas streets. Though how precisely the havoc they wreak serves Walud, remains unclear. Regardless, 
If the order to attack truly came from King Barnabas, then one thing is certain. Walud has achieved the impossible and made bedfellows of beastmen and the ether adult alike. All of which is a roundabout way of saying that you will be in unknown territory when you set foot on Ash. Much of the continent has already been lost to the Blight, and what few ports remain will be fiercely guarded. And that is to say naught of its natural defenses. Offshore currents will cast an ill-equipped ship out to sea one moment, and dash it against the rocks the next. But then the Enterprise is anything but ill-equipped. And Mid has made land there before. Now, if only there were someone with an intimate knowledge of the Shadow Coast, and where a daring gentleman might put ashore. Hmm. You see, Clive, you had the answer all along. Do you think you can get us back to that beach, Mid? Picked you up from it, didn't I? Not that it were easy. The currents were right bastard. But then, if it wasn't hard, it wouldn't be worth doing, would it? Well said. Thank you, Lady Vivian. If a few morsels of common knowledge and a sprinkling of tavern talk are worthy of your thanks, I wonder what genuine intelligence might earn me. Probably more visits. Hmm. <laughs> Mid, I need everyone in the ale hall now. I'll fetch Joshua from the shelves. Aye, aye, Captain. All right. Okay, let's get this quest answered in my book. There you go, sir. I and other curse breakers have grown concerned regarding the well-being of our captain. Despite the apparent unrest, her recent investigations have visited upon her. Lady Doris refuses all offer of assistance. If it is not too much trouble, I would ask that you please speak with the captain and learn what troubles her so deeply. Cole. Yep. There's no way of knowing if Doris will confide in me. But I can speak to her at least. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Some bitch. Talk to these guys first. What the hell? When did that pop up? Some bitch. Let me, let me just get this done first, since I'm already over here. I'll hit those quests up. I have no reason to assume otherwise. Hmm? Clive, you must listen to this. Grosman, tell him. Do you recall when we spoke before on the divinity of Ultima? Well, it inspired me to delve deeper into the subject. And what I discovered appears to agree with the findings of his grace. You will recall that my quest to uncover Ultima's origins began with the mural at Phoenix Gate. But while I've always known it to be important, its secrets have heretofore eluded me. Now, however, I believe I know where to find the more complete example. One that will reveal all we seek. Master Clive, have you ever in your travels chanced to hear of the Circle of Malleus? I would think not, if you have. But there was once a time when the faith flourished, the oldest known religion in the Twins, and though its popularity eventually waned on Storm, hints of its dogma remain embedded in more modern faiths such as the Crystalline Orthodox. Wait, you said it waned on Storm. What of Ash? Religious monuments are often torn down or repurposed when new faiths rise to prominence. But if no new faith arose, then perhaps the ancient temples might still stand. And so, you see now, 
why I must accompany you to Walud. Just it would have appear Joshua the past still. still has much to teach us. Though in this case, it would not have been possible without the musings of Moss. <laughs> to think that you carried a copy of my old mentor's chronicles all along. I am relieved to discover it in good hands. I shall guard it with my life. Joshua, if you're finished here, join me in the ale hall. I need to speak to everyone before we leave. Right away. And then I guess talk to Jill, who's talking to Karen. Miss it, I can ride the Enterprise. I'm not sure if it'd allow me to I leave anyways. By now you've all heard where we're going and why. So I won't bother you with the boring details, only the important ones. If we attempt to approach Stone here by sea, there's a good chance we'll be sighted and fall prey to the capital's artillery. So instead, we'll disembark on the southwest coast and make for Drake's spine on foot. I say we, but... It's highly likely the entirety of Ash is under the rule of Ultima. A large party would only attract unwanted attention. As well as slow our march and require supplies which may be difficult to obtain. Only Joshua and I will be going. And a scout. Preferably a good one. Gav, do you know of any? You bet your ass I do. Might still borrow some of Lady Vivian's maps, though. Just in case, like. Once you've dropped us off at the Shadow Coast, you need to retreat into neutral waters, fly merchant colors, and stay inconspicuous. If you sense any danger at all, you leave us behind and return to Storm. Inconspicuous is my middle name. But like hell am I leaving anyone behind. The ship ain't going nowhere till your scurvy mugs are smiling on deck. Jill. The Enterprise will appear a tempting target for Royalists and Pirates alike. You're to stop anyone boarding. Don't worry. I'll keep the ship and her crew safe. You'll be needing passage home, after all. But... Very well. If there are no questions, I'll see you all at the docks. Let me know when you're leaving. I want a word before you go. Of course. Alright. Okay, I was about to say, where did that quest go? There it is. It just popped up. It took a second to show up on the map. All right, so we need to talk to a couple people here real quick. Oh, is it just gonna auto do auto? Where are you? Can I help you, Sid? I'm looking for Doris. Is she okay. here? I'm afraid not. She's at Martha's rest on a job. My job, actually. When she heard what the mission was, she insisted on going herself. Alone. Did she? What was the mission? Following up on some new information. Once they'd settled in, the bearers you helped liberate in the Dragon's Airy were keen to talk about their imprisonment. And about their captor. The slaver Cole's team were tracking when they were attacked by the Beastmen. I'll go and find her. She's at Martha's rest, you say? If she's not moved on already, yes. I hope everything's all right. Why would Doris insist on going alone? Maybe Cole was right to be worried. I don't know. Alright, we're speaking to Taya. Please. Or uh, Yote. Ah, my okay. Lord Marquis. Yote, is anything the matter? You seem troubled. Perhaps I might be able to help. 
My lord. Y yes. Perhaps you might. It's your brother. His condition continues to worsen, though he does his best to hide it. The lesion on his chest pains him more with each passing day. I had feared as much. There are certain elixirs which can ease the suffering of those afflicted by the curse, but... But? But his grace's case is severe. The drafts I have been able to prepare for him thus far have ceased to have any real effect. So I consulted with Talia and certain of my comrades among the Undying about the possibility of finding something stronger. And thankfully, a recipe was found. The only problem being that the critical ingredient is exceptionally hard to come by. And our supplies are almost exhausted. Unless we can secure more soon, your brother's anguish will likely become unbearable. My lord, I know that I have no right to make demands of you. But would you help? For Joshua's sake. Yeah, anything for Joshua. For Joshua. Anything. Thank you, my lord. So, what is this critical ingredient? A rare herb by the name of Stonerwort. It grows only where the ether is densest. The vigor it stores in its stems helps to counteract the curse. We discovered a patch near the aqueduct in Rosaria. But alas, yet more ether has erupted from the earth there recently, leaving the whole area flooded. The search continues for a new source. One that we might reach without being turned. So it's only that you can't reach it? The stone and water itself is unharmed by the flood? Well, yes, but... Then I shall go in your stead. Oh, but, my lord... You've yet to find another source, correct? So for now, the aqueduct is our best hope. Besides, I'm a dominant. The ether can't hurt me. Well, if you're sure, my lord, Stonerwort is easily identified by its blood red blooms. Search around the aqueduct, and you're sure to find some soon enough. I shall remain here and prepare the other ingredients. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Heal thyself. And I think that's it from inside here, so we should be able to now speak with Octo. Yep, no new hunts, no new whatever. Uh, I didn't check the. I need to check the blacksmith. Not at all. Honestly. Can't a man wish his friend farewell? Just wanted to let you know that I'll keep things in order. While you're off saving the world, I'll hold you to that. Oh, damn. Son of a... That... Seriously? Let's go back to the hideway, see if there's any marks as well. Alright, first things first. What else you got here, Blackthorn? So what do I owe the honor? Use the forge. So, what it be? Ooh, ice brand. Holy oh, shit. It last you a good yep. while. Alright, still need the other hunt for that. Still need the other hunt for that. Uh, don't need anything for there. That's still good, okay. So I got the ice brand. That'd be nice. Don't really care. Don't really care. Alright. Let me check. Come 
Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. There's gonna be quite a it's gonna be a couple more in here, huh? View hunts. Let me see what we got. Wait. Wait, were these the... Okay. This was the 20th one. Okay. Just making sure that fits 60. So, Pandemonium. Location unknown. Those few souls who were able to escape from Ash before the skies change tell of Pendon Pandemonium, the king of the orcs, who led his fellow beastmen in revolt against Wol uh, Waluder rule. Though his rebellion was swiftly crushed by King Barnabas' armies, many of the orcs, who now roam the twins, sat. Uh, Sating their appetite for human flesh, bear his markings, suggesting that he will, that he still commands his forces today. An S rank orc looks like it says, uh, talking about Ash. It doesn't really give any other clues except that it's an Ash. So that's gonna be fun is this gonna tell me fancy a look at the list do you quick look oh it's oh I can just travel straight to oh damn where's this where are these Put me just right in front of him. Or just. Nope, just takes me to the blight. Or the, uh. The thing. Okay. God ah, dang it. Oh, my bad. Forgot. I can't jump her shit. Was that shouting I heard from? All right. And you're just gonna fall into line. What do you need? Don't trust this king. Isabel. Oh, Clive. What am I to do? My wards and I may soon be without a home. What's happened? The High Cardinal has descended from his lofty throne and taken up residence here in Northreach. The High Cardinal. Leader of the Council of Elders. Second only to his radiance at the head of the Imperial government. Not that any of those things still exist. Now he goes by his noble title. The Duke of Oriflam. And what does he want with Northridge? He wants to transform it into a military stronghold. A foundation upon which to build a new Sambrek. He's already secured the support of the various army remnants, with promises that they shall be afforded the respect they deserve in his empire. One built on the confiscated property of the people. He would rob the populace to pay for it. Believe me, I have used every means of persuasion to discourage him from this folly. But for whatever reason, he will not listen to me. What does Captain Philippe make of this? When the town was under attack, it was him the soldiers rallied around. Couldn't he use that influence again? How? By speaking out against one of the most powerful men in Sambrec. A man whose stated aim is to revive the Empire Philippe's comrades swore to serve, and to improve the soldiers' lot within it. The Captain can offer them a regular supply of gruel and an occasional trip to the Vale to help them forget the terrors they face each day. The Duke offers them a vision of strength, 
and safety. No. Any attempt to incite mutiny would cost Philippe the support of his men. If it did not cost him his life. For given the mood around town, mutiny may yet be unavoidable. The people have little appetite for further deprivation. Least of all when it serves only to elevate others. Who could blame them? Clive, would you appeal to the Duke on my behalf? For your services to Northreach, you have the respect of the soldiers, and they will take you to his eminence if you ask them. And unlike Philippe, no bonds of loyalty prevent you from speaking your mind to the man. Well, will you try? You could hardly fare any worse than I did. Yeah, sure, why not? You're gonna throw in some cash? I'll we'll see what do I that. Can do. Thank you, Clive. Tell me then, where will I find this Duke of Oriflam? In the garrison? Overseeing the troops, yes. All right. Wish me luck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, I gotta come back here anyways, so... That is just... Uh, that's a lot of stuff that's right there. Shit. That's gonna be it up in itself. It's, it's, it's just gonna have to be. Alright. Next time, we're gonna clean up all this freaking mess right here. Like, look at this. I mean, we got added stuff there. Quests here. My word. Yeah, we're going to clean this up next time before we go over to the Shadow Coast. I got to clean all this up. I'm a completionist. I got uh, OCD. Just seeing all this green over here is not, it's not doing me. Nope, I'm not handling it. Not going to do it. So let me just go ahead and save this. Booyah. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so we got the boys back. All right. Sweet. Let me, uh. There they are. Sluting away. Good boy, Torgal. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. A lot of stuff was happening during this step. A lot of cutscenes and a lot of just. Whew. But, anyways. Do me a favor, if you don't mind, don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all next time. So until then, my friends, take care. Bye-bye. Okay, later.